Okay, everybody. All right, everybody. Welcome to another stamp game lesson. This stamp game lesson is going to be all about group division. So here we have a problem written. We're going to first talk about the parts of our division problem. This part here, this is called our dividend. Okay, this is what we're dividing into. This number here on the outside of the bracket is called the divisor, okay, dividend divisor. And this problem says 6,936 divided by three equals. So this line up here is our equals line, okay? And that's where we're gonna write the answer. You can think of the answer as the cherry on top. Answer goes on top. So in order to do this, do you remember in addition and subtraction, we always had to make our minuend or both of our addends? Well, in this problem, we need to make the dividend. So how many units are in our dividend? Here, six. Two, four, six. Cool. How many tens? Three. One, two, three. And how many hundreds? Nine. Not reach in front of my paper. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and how many thousands do we have? Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So what we are doing is we have to divide each one of these categories by three. And what we're gonna do in group division is we make groups of three. So we're gonna start with our highest category. That's what this little black counter is gonna show us. It's showing us the category we're working on, okay? And we need to make groups of three out of these stamps. So here's one group of three, and here's two groups of three. Do we have any more that we can make groups of? No, we don't have any more that we can make any groups with. So how many total groups did we make? I'm not asking about how many individual stamps are here. How many groups of three do we have? One group, two group. We have two groups of three. And what kind of stamps are these again? These are our thousands. So I'm gonna go over here on my paper and I'm gonna write two above my thousands place, which is right here. Two, okay? All right, so since we're done with the thousands place, we're gonna move on to the hundreds place. Cool? So we have to make groups of three out of our hundreds. So here's one group of three, two groups of three, and three groups of three. Do we have any more hundreds that we can make groups with? No. So we have one group, two group, three groups. And this is our hundred stamps. I'm gonna come over here to my hundreds place. I'm going to write three above my hundreds place. Now we're gonna to go to tens. We slide our little counter down. We have to make groups of three out of the tens. Boom. How many groups of three did we make? Uno. And this is our 10 stamp. So we're gonna write three, oops, sorry, we're gonna write one, haha, <laughs> above our tens place. And then we're gonna move on to our final category, the units. We're gonna make three with our units. Look at that. How many groups do we have? One, two. Do we have anything else left that we can make groups out of? No. So I'm gonna write two above our units place, like that. Now, did you notice we started over here with our thousands? We're so used to always starting with the baby, okay? You're always used to starting with the units. But in division, in division only, you always start with the highest category. It's the oldest one's turn this time to go first. This is the only time in division. Capiche? All right, good. Let's do another one. We are going to do... Hmm... 9,600 
fifty six. So we're going to do nine thousand six hundred fifty six divided by four. Okay. So we have to go ahead and make that. So I'm going to reset. And I have to make some thousands, ignore those ones. And now I have to set up my dividend, okay? So I need six units in my dividend. Four, six. We need five tens. Three, four, five. We need six hundreds. Two, three, four, five, six, and we need nine thousands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Okay, now, last time we made groups of three, this time we're gonna make groups of four. So we're gonna start here at our thousands. Remember the oldest gets to go first in division not the baby, the oldest or the biggest. So we're gonna make groups of four out of our thousands. And we have our black marker here above there so that we know which category we're working with. Here's a group of four. And here's a group of four. And look, we have 1,000 left over. We can't get more thousands, we don't have 10,000s. And our number doesn't have any 10,000s in it either, so that wouldn't even matter if we did have 10,000s. So, we have to stop here because it's gotta be, groups have to be fair. Groups have to be equal. So how many groups do we have? One, two. This is our thousands. So I'm gonna write two above my thousands place. Okay. Now we're gonna go on to our hundreds, but we can't forget we have this guy too, all right? He cannot be ignored. He cannot just be put away because that would change our dividend. So I'm gonna make groups of four out of my hundreds until I can't anymore. Ah, I have two left. Mm. So we can actually get more hundreds from a thousand. How many hundreds are in a thousand? 10. So I'm gonna come down here and just like with my addition and subtraction, I'm going to exchange away from my problem so that I don't get mixed up. I don't wanna mix up my 10 with the six here. So I'll get the wrong answer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. So I can put this guy away and I can take these and keep making groups of four. There's one, there's one, ah, and there's one, cool. So how many groups of four do I have? One, two, three, four. Four, and I'm gonna write that above my hundreds place on my paper, okay? So now we're gonna move on to our tens. Make groups of four. So here's one group of four. Mm. We don't have enough to make any more, and we don't have any hundreds to exchange because they're all in groups. Once they're in a group, they're locked in. Can't be taking them out. So we just have to stop and say, all right, we have one group of four and that's our 10. So I'm gonna write one above our tens place. Now we have to move on to our units and don't forget this guy, important things, okay? So we're gonna make groups of four. Four, ah, look, we don't have enough units here. We can get more units from our 10, can't we? So I'm gonna exchange down here, two, four, six, eight, ten. Like that. Put this dude away, and let's keep making groups. Four, group of four. Okay, we have nothing left over, right? So we have how many groups? One, two, three, four. That's our units. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put a four. Okay. So our dividend, 9,656 divided by our divisor, which is four equals 2,414. Now the answer to a division problem is called a quotient. It's kind of a weird word, but it's called a quotient. Okay. So addition is a sum, subtraction is the difference, multiplication is a product, division is quotient. Okay, every single operation actually has a different name for its answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more, but it's gonna be a little bit different than these. Something's gonna change at the end. So we're going to divide these into three equal groups in each category. Remember, it's the oldest turn to go first. We're gonna start with the largest category, not the baby, the largest. So I have my black dot here to help me remember that. And we're going to make groups of three. So there's a group of three. Here's a group of three. Ah, we can't make a group of three out of that, can we? But we don't have any more thousands, we have to stop. The groups have to be equal, has to be fair. So how many groups did we make? Two. So I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna write two above the thousands place. Cool. Now we're going to move on to our hundreds. I'm going to bring these, these guys with me, all right? Because we don't want to forget about them. We have to use them. I'm going to make groups of three. There's one group. Ah, I don't have enough. So I have two stamps I can exchange here. I'm only going to do one. I'm going to do as I need to. It's a lot easier to manage 10 and make groups of that than count out a whole 20 and make groups of that. You can make more mistakes that way. So I'm going to go ahead and just do an exchange as I need to, not all at once. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Put this dude away. Bring these up. Let's make groups of three. Another group of three, another group of three, another group of three. Well, that's cool. We used all these. However, we still have this thousand left. Okay, and we can't just put him back. We have to turn this dude into ten hundreds and make groups with it. So I'm going to exchange this one too. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, put this guy away. We're gonna make more groups of three. I'm gonna to have to get creative here with my space. There's a group of three. Here's a group of three. All right, and then we have this one left over. So, how many groups we have? Let's start there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that's a lot of groups. And these are hundreds, so I'm gonna write eight above my hundreds place. Oops, I forgot to move my black dot, sorry. And now we're gonna move on to tens. So we have these tens and this 100. We're gonna make groups of three. So there's one group. Alas, we do not have enough tens right now. We have to exchange this hundred for 10 tens. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Whoa! Put this guy away. All right, let's keep making groups. Oh, geez, Louise, look at that. We only have two left. Let me move that guy there. And we can't make groups out of them, so we gotta pause. We gotta stop. How many groups, equal groups of four to, or three do we have? One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna write four above our tens place. And we're gonna move on to our units. We gotta take these guys with us. Okay, you can't ignore them. So let's make groups of three. Three, three, well that's cool, but we still have these two. And remember, we can't just put them back. That won't be right, the right answer. So I'm gonna exchange one at a time for 10 units. Only exchange as you need to, so because it's a lot easier to get mixed up if you have a whole bunch of stamps all over the place. Because sometimes it is very possible that you could possibly have like four stamps left over, and then you'll have a whole bunch of stamps that you're exchanging for. It just depends on how big your divisor is. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Put this guy away and let's keep going. All right, still have a 10 left over. Move that guy there. 
two, four, six, eight, ten. Do you see that was the perfect opportunity? If I had left this guy down here, I might have gotten him mixed up with my exchange. That's why I slid it up here. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you're being really organized and thoughtful when you're doing this exchanging. So I'm gonna put this 10 away and I'm gonna start making groups of three again. Now look, we have two left over, but we can't actually exchange anything anymore to make more groups, can we? We're out. We just have two units left over. So I'm gonna put these right there. Oh, no, I'm not gonna can't see them. I'm gonna put these right here. Nope, I'm not gonna do that either because you can't see it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna put them right there. So first things first, how many groups of units, equal groups of three do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now we have something left over, don't we? We have two units left over. Now when you have something left over, we call that a remainder. The way we write that is this. We put a little r right there. And what is our remainder? How many units do we have left? Two. So it's going to be root with a remainder of two. So this says 8,549 divided by three equals 2,849 with a remainder of two. Got it? So a lot of times in class, I like to start off with a lot of problems that aren't gonna have remainders. So that way, if there is a remainder, you knew that there was some kind of hiccup. However, that can be a little bit more tricksy pants at home. So just do your best. If you want me to send you like 10 or 15 numbers that don't have remainders, I'm happy to do that. Just email me or call me and I'll help you with that. Okay, my precious jewels of life. This lesson over, this lesson is over and I will hopefully see you soon. I miss you and I think you're just fantastic. All right, have a great day.